I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created in. I was born in San Antonio, stayed there until I was three years old, and moved down to South Texas. My parents had a farm and a ranch. I grew up there. Went to school, graduated from high school, I was a valedictorian. From there, I went to college in San Antonio, went to junior college for a year and a half. And then I went to University of Puerto Rico for one semester, came back, went to St. Mary's, finished there, graduated, got a Bachelor of Arts degree, in history and government, graduated magna cum laude, and then I went to the University of Texas School of Law. I had planned to be a college professor, get a PhD, and teach history and political science or government. I decided to change in my junior year because I thought I could do more with the legal degree than I could with the route that I had intended to go. I remember when I was in seventh grade, I was 13 years old, and they were talking about federal judges. And the teacher made the statement, our civics teacher made the statement that federal judges were appointed by the president. And so we asked our teacher, did he get to meet the president? And she said, well, I'm sure he did. Then 33 years later, I was standing before President Clinton meeting him. And I have to say, God has brought me a mighty, mighty long way. I do not believe I would be anywhere I am now because he has always been in my life. There's not a day that goes by that I do not thank him for where I am and what he has bestowed upon me. My dream was to go to the University of Texas. The first notice I got was from St. Mary's where I graduated, magna cum laude. Had a decent LSAT score, high GPA, and St. Mary's rejected me. But through in two days and I got the acceptance letter from the University of Texas, which is where I wanted to go all alone. We have come a long way as, as a people. However, there's still a long, long way to go, and I do not want that to get lost on our young people. There are people who will doubt you. If you think you fail, do not be deterred by that. Because if I had given up, wouldn't have gone to the University of Texas, wouldn't have been city attorney, the first African-American city attorney for the city of Dallas, would not be a federal judge. I failed to get into St. Mary's but as some of the old folks would say, God had bigger plans for you. <laughs>